In this video, we're going to discuss four costs of providing a quality product or service to your customers. So let's take a company that manufactures cars. I'm not going to tell you about any fancy car, just your standard grocery getter. So the first cost that a company could measure is called prevention costs, and that's a cost of preventing defects from ever occurring to begin with. A defect is a failure in quality, so let's say that the brakes on this car do not work. And so if we train our employees properly, if we like teach them how to operate the equipment effectively in the factory, we make sure that this never happens to begin with. We don't have a problem where the brakes are going to fail on this car because the employees in the factory, they're doing a great job. They've been properly trained. So any cost of training those employees would be considered a cost of prevention. So that's a prevention cost. That's one cost of ensuring that we're going to have a quality product or service. But we can also measure the cost of appraisal. So appraisal costs are we were we, so we've made some cars okay we've made some cars and we want to see we want to inspect those cars we want to do a test drive to see if in fact the brakes do work okay so we are now so now we're past the point we say okay we've done some training but now we want to make sure before we uh, sell this car and, and give it to a dealership, we want to make sure that the brakes work, that everything's fine. So we could visually inspect the car. Uh, we could take it for a test drive and so forth. So we are trying to appraise whether there's an issue, to identify whether there is, in fact, any kind of defect. Now, if we discover that there is a defect, then we have what is called internal failure. Okay, we can end up scrapping the car altogether if the defect is something where it's just like, look, this car cannot be salvaged. Or we say, well, we can repair it. And this is all happening before we actually deliver the car to any dealerships or to, to a customer. Okay, so internal means that we basically, the, the, the product has not gotten into customers' hands yet. But we still have a cost. We have identified that there is a defect. And we said, now, okay, we're going to repair this defect or somehow deal with this uh, vehicle. So we have an internal failure and we're going to have to spend some money to either fix the problem or scrap the car, something like that. Now, the worst type of cost, so when we think about the most money that is going to be spent by a company is going to be external failure costs, potentially. Okay, When I say potentially, because if you don't have any external failures, then you're not going to have to worry about this, but external failures happen. External failure would be a warranty cost. Okay, so the car goes out to somebody, uh, there's a warranty that for five years, there's not going to be any kind of problems uh, with the, you know, the, the, the engine, the transmission, and so forth, but the engine blows uh, within three weeks. And so then the, the person brings it back and says, look, I don't see what the problem is or whatever. And it's just like, oh, well, we just sold them a car uh, with a defective engine. And so now uh, we've got to, we're going to incur some warranty costs. Uh, but also product liability costs are also another type of external failure cost. So product liability could be, so let's say that the brakes, in fact, there, there's a problem with the brakes. Uh, you know, so the training, we didn't train people properly or and we didn't catch the defect. We didn't repair it uh, before it left, the, left our factory. It gets in the customer's hands and the brakes don't work and they ended up crashing. Uh, there's some fiery crash and, and people unfortunately die and their families are going to sue the company and say, hey, wait a minute, you gave us a defective product. And that's why I said this potentially could be the most expensive of these costs because once the product gets out of our hands and into the customer's hands, a lot of damage could be done. And I'm not just talking financially, but also from an emotional perspective. People can be hurt. And so we have a number of costs here. We're thinking about preventing the defects from occurring, identifying whether they exist once they, they have occurred, uh, repairing them before they get to the customer. But again, the, the, the most costly of all is once we've actually delivered the product to the customer, if there's some kind of problem, and then they want to send it back to us to be repaired, or potentially, in worst case scenario, people end up getting hurt.